So welcome back to another episode of FC24 is Broken. This is the show where you guys send in your fails, your funny moments, and the things that just go wrong with FC24. We put them together, we have a laugh, and we see the current state of this game. As always, send in your clips to vkfifabugs at gmail.com. Put your first name, the clip, and the context as well for a chance to get featured. If you want to use the best players and dominate foot, you're going to need a lot of coins. Check out today's sponsor, MuleFactory.com, who offer foot coins with Comfort Trade. Use my link in the description and my code VAPEXFC5 for 5% off. So we've got a video from Raymond Digno, who said, I just got sacked for not winning the Premier League, even though I had just won it the previous game by a mile with 18 points ahead and with only four games to spare, but somehow still I got sacked. Spent so much time and effort to build this team just to get done like this by EA is something I will regret for some period of time. There really needs to be a new setting in the game where you can disable the ability to get sacked. Because this game is sacking people for no good reason. You can win the Premier League as you can see Panther FC won the Premier League by a long mile. And there's still three games to go as well. And then you get the email telling you that your contract has been terminated for no good reason at all. Only in this game can you win the Premier League and still get sacked for no good reason. The email literally says that the board's confidence in you is currently very low. How is it very low when you've smashed every other team by almost 20 points, there's three games to go, you've won the Premier League, what more does this board want? How do you boost their confidence? EA, if you're listening, FC25 needs to have a setting where you can disable getting sacked in the game mode because you can win the treble, you can win four trophies and still be sacked for not doing one of the board objectives. It's completely ridiculous. This video comes from Will who says, this is my player flying into the air after being tackled. Love the videos, thank you Will. So we've got the clip here, a Sunderland player is charging towards goal, about to score potentially, but the Newcastle player comes across and tackles the guy so hard that the guy goes flying five meters into the air, does a couple spinner roonies while he's there, and then lands back on the ground. That definitely is a penalty that definitely had to hurt as well. What kind of realistic physics engine is this? The next video comes from Lewis who says, love watching all the videos, especially the glitches and bugs and just laughing at them. The game is a mess. In this clip, I am playing co-op seasons with my brother who lives in the same house as me. Both have great internet. As soon as the game kicks off, it freezes and then I get an amazing amount of speed up lag. It's like watching a sped up video. This game is so broken, man. So we've got the clip here and as you can see, the game is completely frozen and then all of a sudden it comes back to life and it decides to double in speed. This game is almost in unplayable territory. Is there any mode, is there any match type, whatever you want to call it, that actually works properly in this game now? Seems like every part of this game has broken elements. You can't have matches where the game just freezes, the game goes into some sort of speed boost mode, and then it doesn't even know what it's doing next. I've been saying it for weeks now, this game has a mind of its own. So next up is something from Ivar, who says, loving your videos. Thank you, Ivar. My bug is when you load your save. I couldn't find my Mansfield save. The last time I played my save was on the 24th of March, and the latest I could find was the 14th of of March. At the bottom of the save list, you can see the date 13th of December 2019. So it looks like Ivar's save has completely disappeared. No one knows where it's gone. There is a couple Mansfield Town crew mode saves on that list there, but it looks like they're sort of backdated. They're not up to date saves, so maybe something went wrong. And apparently Ivar was also playing FC24 back in 2019 because the bottom of the list says 13th of December 2019. But yeah, not sure what happened here. It looks like Ivar has lost the progress on his save. Maybe something like this has happened to you as well. If if you're a career mode player. So next up is another career mode issue. This one comes from Aaron who says I was doing a manager career mode on FC24 and I logged onto it but when I clicked anything it would crash. I restarted the console but it didn't fix anything. So Aaron loads up FC24. He goes to the manager career mode section in the menus, loads up his manager save and this is all real time here as you can see the game has decided to take its time you know it's it's very laggy very slow i don't know what's going on here but sometimes this does happen and let me know if it's happened to you as you play fc24 anyway aaron gets into the actual crew mode save and he starts going around the menus you know flicking the different um rb lb buttons to change tabs and just navigate the menus and then all of a sudden the game decides that it's had enough it decides to crash and as you can see now, it goes back to the Microsoft Xbox home menu there. This is basically the experience of crew mode people out there. Bugs galore. No amount of bug spray is going to fix the amount of bugs that are in this game at the moment. Even just loading into your manager crew mode is now going to crash the game. Every crew mode day that goes by, you need to save your game because this game can crash at any time and you can lose your progress. Next up is a video from Bradley who says the clip speaks for itself, the state of EAFC and pro clubs. I didn't realize how many issues were in pro clubs until I actually did this show 
But you can see so far things look pretty normal and then all of a sudden the cameraman decides to shake his camera and uh, I don't know what happened to the cameraman there. Someone needs to check up on him. But as you can see, you're just playing normal pro clubs and even the cameraman is not doing his job properly anymore. So this one comes from Cornell who says, My Virgil van Dijk about to do a standing tackle and then magically teleports away letting them score. Love the game. So we've got some division rivals action here and the green jersey team manages to score a goal. But did you see van Dijk there? He was in a good position to make the tackle. As he goes for the tackle, he starts teleporting a couple meters across the box there. I don't know why, but this is supposed to be hyper motion, realistic animations, realistic gameplay, and it's not. You're already stressed enough playing division rivals as it is, and then all of a sudden you see these things here which would frustrate you even more. This is why we have broken controllers. It's literally impossible to do this in real life. Do a standing tackle, but all of a sudden get teleported a couple meters across the field. But in EAFC, physics go out the window. The laws of motion do not apply to this game anything can happen these kinds of things do cost you games in career mode even in ultimate team as well so this one comes from lewis who says i've been subscribed since your videos on fifa 22 thank you lewis in this eafc clip i was doing an away match as the liverpool manager and this brighton fan was wearing a brighton jersey and waving a liverpool flag so it's Liverpool versus Brighton, and before the game you get the whole match day presentation. There's a Liverpool flag there, but wait a second, did you catch it? The fan is actually wearing a Brighton jersey. What is that Brighton fan doing? Why are they waving around the Liverpool flag? They're literally in the Brighton section as well, waving this flag. I don't actually think that's a Brighton fan. I think that's an undercover Liverpool fan. This is a Liverpool fan in disguise. There is absolutely no reason at all for a person that's in a Brighton jersey to be waving around the Liverpool flag. So this one comes from Oscar, who says 18 games into the season, and Jack Clark, who has 16 appearances already, throws his toys out his pram when I drop him for fitness reasons. So there you go, 16 appearances out of 18. I think that's a pretty respectable rate. You know, you can't really complain about that, especially if you're getting dropped for fitness reasons. But Jack Clark seems to have an issue. He's been sending the boss some text messages here. The first one is him asking, is there a problem? And uh, the boss replies, we've got lots of big games coming up and I'll be counting on you. I just thought you looked tired and needed a break. Nothing to worry about, son. Seems like Jack was pretty worried because he hit him back with, I've got to be honest with you, I think me not getting games is starting to damage my career. You literally played 16 out of 18. I want to get away and make a fresh start somewhere else. Please let me leave so I can get chances to play and his morale is very unhappy as well so it seems like getting dropped for two games because his fitness was not up to par was enough for Jack to decide that he wants to leave the club and go and start somewhere else he thinks that playing 16 out of 18 games is going to damage his career some of these footballers in career mode seem to have all the issues they're always complaining about something so this one comes from Elliot who says I love the videos thank you Elliot I'm fed up with how broken international games are in career mode for example my relation with the England manager carries over to my club manager and also in the screenshot you can see that it says that Oxford United vs QPR is an international friendly. So it seems to be player career mode here and we've got Southgate in the top left there so maybe this is an England match day. I'm not too sure about that but one thing I am sure about is the next fixture tile on the right there. Look at that. 26th of November 2024 international friendly at Court Lane Oxford United vs QPR. Really? In what universe is Oxford United vs QPR an international game? I never knew Oxford United was a country. I never knew QPR was a country. Somehow in career mode, it looks like geography does not apply. Forget what you learned at school. Forget what your geography teacher taught you. It looks like international friendlies are now between Oxford and QPR. 